Hello and welcome. I'm MCF Poffin. This is the July 2024 mid year channel update where I'll let you know what the plan's schedule is for the rest of the year. As always, this schedule is subject to change because whenever the riddle of Mrs. Bishop is released, then I'll have daily uploads on that and then push everything else back somewhat. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to be the only MCF game we'll get this year or if we'll get a second one yet too. But if we do get to, then it'll be t twice as changed. Anyway, starting things off on July 1st, the first part of Let's Play Mega Mash will be released. This is a really solid Nitrone game and a really unique concept for a game where it's like mashing a bunch of different games all together into one. On July 13th, the first part of my non-commentary playthrough of Mystery Case Files Black Crown will be released. Now, like, my opinion is kind of mixed on Black Crown, because, like, on the one hand, like, I really do like the level design in the game. It has a more open-ended level design to it, where it isn't quite so restricted and linear. So I do really like it for that, but just the story, like, the connection to 13 Skull really doesn't make much sense at all. And then in the bonus game, they really ruined it. But I will still be doing a series on it, so look forward to my non-commentary of that. On August 10th, the first part of Let's Play Small Fry will be released. Another really solid Nitro, more of a puzzle game, I guess you would call it. On August 19th, the first part of Let's Replay Mystery Case Files 13th Skull will be released. This is... I love 13th Skull, and I really like how the... Let's Replay series turned out, so look forward to that. On September 16th, the first part of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie Grunny's Revenge will be released. Now, I did record a Let's Play of Banjo-Tooie, but after I recorded it, I discovered that Banjo-Kazooie Grunny's Revenge which is a Game Boy Advance game originally, actually takes place between Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie, so that's why, even though I recorded it after Banjo-Tooie, I'm actually uploading the Let's Play before I've done Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. And all in all, it's really an impressive game for being able to translate the 3D collectathon gameplay into a more 2D GBA environment. On October 16th, the first part of my non-commentary playthrough of Mystery Case Files, The Harbinger, will be released. This is the first of the grandma-developed Mystery Case Files games, and coming off of, like, slowly but surely playing through all the Epics games, I do still really prefer grandma's game design and approach to the series than I did for the epics ones and it was a solid entry to start things off for him. On November 11th the first part of Let's Play Twin Shot will be released. Twin Shot, the Nitro game I'm sure is more fun with two players but I'm just playing it so well of course. On November 18th, the first part of Let's Play Hidden Expedition to Uncharted Islands will be released. This is the direct sequel slash part two of Hidden Expedition Devil's Triangle. I still don't really care for the fact that they essentially split the games up, but 
it is still a very fun game, though he, it does feel like it had somewhat of a rush development towards the end of the game. And in case you're wondering, I'm not going to be doing any other of the Hidden Expedition entries, at least not r right now, because they were made by Epix, and I think they're decent enough, but I really don't have much experience with any of them, and I'd rather move on to other things right now. On December 4th, the first part of Let's Play Twin Shot 2 will be released. Twin Shot 2 is essentially double the size of the first game and a really solid sequel. And then on December 18th, the first part of my non-commentary playthrough of Mystery Case Files Crossfade will be released, which will continue through the new year. And now, when I started the channel, I wanted it to be like a complete repository of every single mystery case files game and that's still my goal but I also want it to be complete collection of options of either me doing like let's plays of the mystery case files games or just a non-commentary playthrough if someone would prefer that so that is why even though Mystery Case Files Crossfade was the first ever series I did a let's play on on this channel, that's why I'm doing non-commentary of it. And I'll be going through the other later entries and doing non-commentary too. But there is one thing though with the series and with getting pushed back from whatever other new mystery case files series there are probably crossfade isn't gonna come out till next year because also on december 23rd 24th and 25th whatever my schedule is at that point it'll be paused for a super secret christmas special series i'm releasing instead of doing a christmas themed flash game like I did for the past three years, I found something a bit more substantial, so that's why it's three parts long. And I'll give you a hint, it has to do with a certain bear and bird. But anyway, for stuff coming hopefully in the first half of 2025, depending on how far things get pushed back, It'll be Let's Replay Mystery Case Files Shadow Lake, a Let's Play of Banjo Tooie, which was so many parts. You'll see how many parts it was. It was a lot, and I am not looking forward to editing all of them, but they'll be done sometime in the first half of next year. And then also, what will be taking the Hidden Expedition slot in the rotation are the I Spy series of games, so it'll be Let's Play I Spy Spooky Mansion Deluxe releasing hopefully sometime from January to June next year. And the fun fact about that game is that it was the first ever hidden object game I ever played. So, it does have a special place in my heart, more so than the other I Spy games, but they're still fun, and I will still eventually, hopefully, do more of them. So, look forward to that stuff then. And as always, thanks for watching, thanks for supporting me through all these years. My channel is growing slowly but surely. And I just love to see the numbers slowly tick up on, like, my subscriber count or viewer count. And that crazy to think of, i am got almost 400 subscribers now. I remember when I didn't even have 10. Huh. But anyway, so thanks for supporting me and... Hope you enjoy all the series coming and 
I'll hope you have a great summer. It's shaping up to be a really hot one. Bye.